Hello and welcome. It's a new year and a new start and it's about a diamond painting. We are going to make a 60 by 90 centimeters diamond painting. This diamond painting will be a gift away. So I was thinking it's nice to make the diamond painting personal. How can we do this? I was thinking, okay, let me write the name of the person just in the lower part of the painting. I saw similar pictures from people who just wrote the name out of the mind. And I was thinking, it's not really what I like. It's not really nice. It doesn't look if it's one with the painting. It looks as if it's something added. So I watched online and I find a website and we are going to talk about this. It's making your diamond painting more personal. For me, it's an extra touch. It's really, you make this painting for this person. And what's also nice, the person cannot give the painting away because her name, her or his name is written in the painting. So let me show you what I find, found and how does it works. So here we have the website and how does it work? It's, it's super easy. You just go to pick2pet.com and when you enter, for me it enters in the Dutch version, but you can just click here and change to a lot of different languages. Chinese, Polsky, Portuguese, Japanese. So it's really easy to use. For this tutorial, let me put it on English. It's changed. It gives some yeah, free uh, advertisements. And I think this is the way how they earn their money on this website. But let us focus on this part. How do you work? How does it work? You click on select a file. I have this picture that I want to use, put it in, and then I say next. Then it's uploading the picture. And this is how it looks for Pillar Hamil. Now, then I can choose the colors. Okay, I want to use DMC. And these are different colors but we use with diamond painting DMC colors. So we use this. Stitches per inch. For me, I use square diamonds and I know that in one square is 16 diamonds. So I think I should try this one. 16, so it's 6.3 per centimeter. The size that I want my picture I want it, say, uh, four by two inch, five by two inch. Actually, when you put it on Dutch, it gives you the sequence in centimeters and not in inch. And if you put it in French, German, it's also like this. If you put it in English, American, it gives you the size in inches. Okay, that's it. Then we put on next, we did this, and this is what we get then. They give you a couple of examples how your text will be separately in diamonds. And as you can see, there are a lot of different examples. The one completely on the bottom is just one color, plain. This is six colors, seven colors, eight colors, nine colors, 10 colors. And if you take the first one completely on the top, it has you 28 colors. This one, 20 colors. We put push on it. Then my computer asks, do you want to download it? Yes, no, or yes. I say yes and it's downloading the stuff. It gives you a file, your settings, oh, 
and you create a stitch, crush stitching pattern. The file is downloaded, so here we have it now. It gives you the picture how it looks. If we go to the second page, it gives you your count numbers. And this is actually how a diamond painting also is. Only this is just black and white and not with the colors. They are connected with your colors. And here are your DMC color palette. And now you can just download this to your computer or you can print it. What I do, I print it, custom designed name. So, so we just did the custom designed name for our printing and I print it and it comes like this. They give you this paper. This is how it will be on the end results. Actually, I put everything in grayscale, black and white, because I don't have a lot of colors anymore. So this, for now, it's just in black and white. And this is the most important part, the name. And with the name, of course, the DMC color paper, which symbol is which color. And I searched in all my spare diamonds, all the colors that I need for this custom-made name. So never throw your spare diamonds away. Sometimes I see people, what do you do with your spare diamonds? Do you keep them or do you throw them away? Because I do a lot of paintings, so I have a lot of spare diamonds. But for this kind of projects, it's very handy that you have your spare diamonds. So don't throw them away, keep them in those little bags like I do. I can, I just bought those on AliExpress. I can, I will uh, put the link of those little bags in the description box below. And actually it doesn't take that much space. I think I have almost all the colors that there is and I have three of those little boxes full of diamonds. So it doesn't take that much space. But let us start putting those diamonds on the canvas behind me. And then let us see what the end results are of the canvas and our custom-made custom -made name. And if you so as you can see, I already did a part and now I have to cut a part from here. What I always do is I take my tray, my little surgeon knife and just cut a part out of paper. I don't press too hard because if you press too hard you will just cut through your canvas and that's not what we want. So be careful if you do this and then we just remove this part of the paper. And as you can see it's completely blue. That's this color that you see here. That's the color 6 that I use in the official painting and now we are going to paint this part with the part that we just printed on the website pick to pat.com so let us see how it continues <music>
So, the part with the name is done now. So from this to all of this, actually I crossed everything on what I already did, as you can see. Is this the end result? So and I will let you see. It's like this. And from farther away, it's like this. So let me know what you think of this. If it's worth the time or that you should just do it out of hand. I think it's more nice like this. Of course, we have to see how it looks like if the whole picture is finished. But I think the end results for now are pretty nice. So in the next episode of this diamond painting, we will continue on the original painting. It has a lot of blue on site here because it's the water. In the middle is the hotel that's coming. And the next question is for the next video. Where do you start to paint? We started here on the right corner because I wanted to have the name over there. And for me, I think it's more easy to start at the place where you want to add something special, something extra. Because if you paint from left to right, from top till bottom, and you come here, and then you have to fit this in somewhere, and if you already passed your know, line of your beginning of your end of this one, you have to remove your stones again. So for me, it was more easy to start at the part that I added to the picture and then after I can decide do I start from left to right from top to bottom or do I just continue here on the right corner so thank you for watching if you like my video thumbs up if you want to see the continue of this painting just subscribe to my channel and just push the bell notification and you will get an automatic notification when I upload a new video. Feel free to post this video on your, on your Facebook or on your Instagram. And for now, just thank you for watching, thumbs up, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you, bye bye.